Hope everybody's doing well. Um, excited to get back uh, to Neyland, see your fans here uh, this Saturday. Uh, salute to service game. Uh, obviously, I um, want to thank all the men and women that have made so many sacrifices uh, to give us the opportunity to do the things that we do. Uh, it's also senior day. Uh, be a, a great day to, to recognize those guys that have meant so much and poured so much into uh, this program. Uh, obviously, for me, just thinking back to when I first got here, these guys have been a huge part of um, laying the foundation, helping our program build uh, extremely quickly here over the last two years and uh, building this, this program back to, to where it should be, which is competing uh, at the highest level. And uh, excited to celebrate that with those guys uh, today. Um, I'm going to open it up for, uh, for questions. How would you assess your first practice back after Saturday? Uh, the energy in the building was good. Um, were guys disappointed after the game? Yeah, if, if they weren't, uh, then we'd have, have real issues. Uh, I had an opportunity to, uh, one, for them to go into the position meeting and, and unit meetings and, and just see you know, the landscape from, uh, from the coach's perspective. They have a chance to watch it with them. And then as a team, too, just uh, watch how the game unfolded and, and things that, um, that we did that uh, can control the game and, and make it play out differently. But uh, you know that's the great thing about this sport is that, man, you only get one opportunity. And uh, you play it 10 times, it unfolds differently 10 times every time. And, and uh, you know, for us, let's go back and uh, control what we can control, which is how we prepare, how we practice, and how we go play this Saturday. Um, as a competitor, you're only as good as the next one. You guys have heard me say that. It's true after a win, true after a loss. And uh, um, for us as a program, uh, it's time to get better. Coach, you guys have been so good at generating those chunk plays in yeah. the passing game. What was Georgia able to do that, that nobody else has been able to do to kind of li limit that? Yeah, um, you know, we had a couple opportunities, didn't hit them uh, at times. And, and uh, you know, the other thing, too, is just you, you look at some of the things that we did to ourselves, eight pre-snap penalties. <clears throat> um, you know, that makes the game a whole lot tougher. And, and uh, you lose some of the rhythm uh, that we're accustomed to playing with and want to play with. Changes the way the game unfolds. Third down, situational football. You know, had the ball on the plus side of the, the 40, I think, six times. And there's things that, uh, that they did. Um, certainly, we didn't uh, protect and didn't win sometimes on the outside. And Hendon was a little bit off. You combine all those things together, and, and uh, it plays out the way that it did. Josh, obviously you've got the respect of the uh, college football playoff committee uh, with them putting you number one a week ago. As you go forward, um, you take care of your business, but at the same time there will be five, six, seven, eight teams that are all trying to prove they deserve to be one of those four. How do you handle the style points as you go forward? Man, there's, a, there's a whole month of football, and uh, there's a lot of ball left to be played by everybody in the country. Um, you know, up until this point, we've done a lot of things right, obviously, uh, in that ball game uh, a week ago. Uh, credit to Georgia, too. Um, but uh, obviously, we didn't come out on the right side of the scoreboard. Um, there's nothing that we can control other than who we are, how we approach it, and how we go play and compete. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's about trying to find a way to be the best team on the field uh, during the 60 minutes. That's all we're concerned about. The, uh, um, there's a sense maybe that some of your guys were just beat one-on-ones. Maybe that's why that game went like it did. It, when you look at film, can you see ways schematically in assignment, in terms of assignment, that if you play that game again, it, it, you can see how it would go differently? Uh, the first part of that, no. Did you lose just Man, there's a whole lot of things that everybody can do different. Me, our assistant coaches, our players too. Um, there's a lot of things that we didn't handle well and, and things that are certainly within our control um, and uh, things that we've done at a really high level throughout the course of the season. Um, you know, we'll get better at that and we'll have opportunities to improve upon those things and play a lot better football here down the stretch. Georgia's a good football team too. <clears throat> Um, going up against Georgia, why were they so effective at the line of scrimmage on defense and then being able to blitz Hendon Hooker, I think, like 62% of his dropbacks? Yeah, they're a high amount of pressure uh, team. That's a little bit higher than, uh, you know, what we had scouted, but not a whole lot higher than, than what we had anticipated going into the football game. There's a combination of things, you know, from communication up front, um, losing some one-on-ones up front to – uh, not winning out on the outside or, you know, handed not reading right. It's it's all of those things together that 
that make that game play out the, the way that it did. Situational football is going to be critical against a good football team like they are. And, um, you know, you look at some of the things that we did before the snap that we are certainly in control of. It changed the way third downs are played, uh, changed situational football. Uh, again, we weren't good on the plus side of the territory, had opportunities. Um, <clears throat> but there's nothing we can do about that. What we can do is correct it moving forward. And this group, that's who they are. That's what they're about. They're competitors. And if you don't wipe the slate clean, whether you win or lose, you're setting yourself up for failure and, and not uh, getting ready to go play your best football. This group will, will rebound. Looking ahead to Missouri now, what do they do well offensively and defensively? That'll be some challenges for your team. Yeah, just on the defense side of the ball, um, you know, look at them statistically. They've been really good uh, against the run. Uh, played tight pass coverage too. Um, you know, they're one of the top three, four scoring units inside of our league defensively. They've played at a really high level and, and make make you earn it. Um, you know, offensively, uh, have some weapons out on the outside that are explosive. They can create big plays. We've got to do a great job of handling the line of scrimmage and, and applying pressure to the quarterback, too. You mentioned senior day earlier. Uh, I know that's a game that can have a lot of emotions to it, especially before kickoff with going through the tee for the final time. Is there anything as a coach you can do to kind of level that the emotion of that all that out? Yeah, you, you try to prepare them. Uh, you know, it's unique in that you pause for five minutes you know, before you go back in the tunnel, and, and uh, it is uh, you get a chance to see your family, uh, take it in one last time. Obviously, uh, our appreciation as a program and, and our fans too to, to recognize those guys, what they've meant, and what they've done um, inside of our program. Uh, when you run back in, uh, then you got to reset, and, and it's got to be just about football for 60 minutes. And and um, you know, a year ago, our, our guys handled that pretty well. Uh, it'll be important that, that our guys do that here, too. A lot of those guys are going to play a lot of football for us. Coach, kind of following up on that with, with Hendon, he's obviously been such a, an important part of your program the past two seasons. Yeah. Just can you describe his impact and, and, and what he's meant? Yeah, I mean, I, to put it just in, in words, I, I think he's really tough. I mean, he's been such a leader. He's been such a dynamic playmaker. He's been so consistent in the building. Um, you know, he's a huge part of the culture that we have from within the locker room, the ownership that we have from within it. Um, I don't think anybody inside of our program, players, coaches, or fans, or you know, I mean, would ever take anything from him um, uh, for granted. He's uh, he's had a huge impact, and and uh, excited to get back out there, play one more time in Neyland. But uh, we got a lot of football ahead of us, and continue to compete down the home stretch with him. Josh. I've Covered coaches in the past who said that a lot of times you learn more about your team after it loses than, than after it wins. Is is that just something coaches say, or or can there be? Is there some truth to that in terms of things you can learn? And I think you hand, you learn a lot about your football team, um, no matter what the circumstances and how they reset and, and go to the next one. <clears throat> From the first day that I've gotten here to to today, um, we've learned a lot about our football team, and they continue to prove to themselves, but to us. Um, that they're you know fierce competitors that uh, you know they are they're able to handle adversity and, and reset and move on and, and get better and grow uh, that they accept things and and um, you know try to improve upon those things so um, this group <clears throat> I don't know if learning something about them is what I'm thinking about this week as much as I believe in who they are their DNA and, and look forward to seeing uh, that unfold this week if that makes sense Long term, now that you've gotten the program where it is just overnight so quickly, what's the key to long term sustainability of this program staying where it is now? Yeah, you stay true to the values that have gotten you here. Um, you know, the, the cornerstone pieces of, of who each individual has to be in the building, who we're collectively going to be. Um, continue to build connection and, and, uh, and culture from within the building. Uh, you have the ability to develop the guys that are inside your, your program and continue to recruit at a, at a really high level. And uh, if you put all those pieces together, we're going to continue to get better as a program. And no doubt in my mind that uh, we're in the beginning stages of, of what this program is going to be. Okay. All right. Thank you. Well, that was short today. Jeez, <laughs> my God. <laughs>